Hi, I'm George Levy, and I'm currently in Wynwood. It's an area in Miami where the walls are covered in street art. Some of the world's leading street artists come here to display their graffiti. And if you look around me, everywhere you see, you will find that some amazing work is on display. And these are actually artists that come from all over the world to display their art. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how blockchain is being used to help artists preserve the integrity of their work and get compensated for what they do. Stay tuned. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci is probably the most valuable painting in the entire world. It is coveted by everybody to go see it, and in order for you to see the Mona Lisa, you have to travel to France, go to the Louvre, have to stand in lines and fight through the crowds to be able to get a glimpse of the Mona Lisa. The fact that it is unique and there is only one is what makes it so precious. If you want to see the Mona Lisa, you have to travel to France and be able to see it at the Louvre. But in a world where you can just take pictures of items and send them over the internet for other people for free, how can you keep that value for the visual artists that create these pieces? Right now people are taking photos of the Mona Lisa and they'll be publishing them on the internet. And yet, the Mona Lisa is still as valuable as it's always been and every day becomes even more valuable. Why? Because there is only one Mona Lisa. I'm going to be showing in this video multiple attempts of how blockchain is being used by various parties to be able to bring back value to digital assets and how visual artists can get compensated for their work. Bits Online had the opportunity to cover the Crypto Invest Summit in Los Angeles. Among the many parties that we actually spoke with, there was All Public Art, which is actually using the blockchain, a blockchain based platform, to be able to keep the integrity of the different pieces from the different visual artists. The idea will be that you can keep the full track of the full provenance of the various pieces and be able to build reputation for these actual visual artists. If you have a work of art, you can get a digital certificate recorded on the blockchain, which will give you the full story of where that piece has been. And if you sell that piece to someone else, you would sell it along with the digital certificate for it. By doing so, you can ensure that that piece is the original unique piece. In fact, if somebody tried to copy the piece and tried to sell it to someone else, they would not have this digital asset that goes with it, which is the digital certificate recorded on the blockchain. Taking this concept of creating these digital assets that are unique, such as a Bitcoin, for instance, if I have a Bitcoin and I send it to you, I no longer have that Bitcoin. What blockchain has enabled Bitcoin to do is to create the concept of digital scarcity. You can have an asset, digital asset, and there's only one. It is unique, much like the Mona Lisa. There's only one Mona Lisa. There is only one Bitcoin I own. And when I transfer that Bitcoin over to you, I no longer have it. You have it. This is very different, for instance, from me taking a photo of the Mona Lisa and sending the photo to you. At that point, I have a photo of the Mona Lisa and you have the same exact photo and you could keep replicating and sending that photo to other people. As a result, that photo is not very valuable, but the Mona Lisa itself is. This concept of applying digital scarcity by using blockchain is being used in the visual arts. A very famous example recently is the concept of crypto kitties, which are collectible digital cats. These collectible digital cats are actually unique, and when you own a collectible digital cat, crypto kitty, it is yours. And if you want to sell it to someone else, you no longer own that digital asset. You actually pass it over to someone else. This is being used in very innovative ways. For instance, Genesis, which is one of the first crypto kitties ever created, sold for close to $115,000 in Ether. At today's rates, that price is closer to $184,000. And that's for a digital collectible cat. This whole digital art concept has actually created and expanded into various uh, opportunities, such as an art festival where blockchain collectibles are shared. Crypto kitties are only one type of collectible. You also have rare peppies. Rare peppies are another type of digital collectible. And people collect these rare peppies and sell them. And in fact, rare peppies have actually outperformed ICOs in terms of value gained. When you look at buying an ICO token and selling it, 
Rare Pepe's have often outperformed these ICOs because they're very unique and there's only one of each. Rare Pepe's have been so successful that over time there's a directory, there's a wallet for them, there's even a foundation for Rare Pepe's. Going back, these crypto kitties have actually expanded into other areas. For instance, Steph Curry has just signed a deal with crypto kitties to have collectible crypto kitties with his semblance, and these are being auctioned off. This is the first celebrity partner that crypto kitties has taken on, Steph Curry, and I'm sure there will be others. But these are unique pieces, and there's only one. The thing about crypto kitties is that Anybody can get a crypto kitty. For instance, I own multiple crypto kitties. This is one of my crypto kitties, Satoshi Katamoto. At this moment, if I went to auction Satoshi Katamoto, I don't know how valuable it would be. I'm sure it wouldn't be as valuable as Steph Curry's, but who knows? The whole concept of these digital assets is that now artists have a way to leverage blockchain and the digital scarcity that it creates to be able to preserve the integrity of their work and monetize it as they're able to sell it to other people without the risk of somebody copying and spreading it for free over the internet. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world, one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.